Ultimately, your desire to create must be greater than your fear of it. It's too good. This is like my third refill. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna set another intention for my makeup today. The last time I did my makeup, I set an intention and it really worked. Today, I'm going to have a flawless base and she's gonna last all day. I'm going to a comedy show tonight and I'm gonna be out all day. So I'm doing my makeup now and that's why we need her to last. This is the second comedy show that I've been to. The first one that I ever went to, I was in New York and it was actually surprisingly funny. I don't know why, but I'm like skeptical about comedy shows because I feel like I have a very like situational sense of humor. Like I can never try to be funny and somebody cannot try to be funny to make me laugh at something. But one of my friends, roommates, friends is performing at this comedy show. So I'm just going to support, I guess. And the last comedy show that I went to, it was my friends, friend, friends friend that performed at the comedy show so i guess if you want to get me to go to a fucking comedy show just have somebody you know perform i'm just there it's a saturday night we're going out it's been almost a month since i quit my job the thing is i didn't actually quit like i've literally worked every single week since i quit my job i just put myself on call and that basically just means if my managers need me to come in i can come in if i want to and if my coworkers need coverage i can cover for them if i want to so it's very much i get to decide when i go into work basically i work at this boutique there were like two reasons why i left one was essentially the working environment was just not ideal but they have two other locations and they asked me to come back to their newest location <sighs> the other half of the reason why i left is because i felt like i have given somebody else control over my time it just felt really aimless and stuck i just felt really trapped i've really been enjoying feeling like i have control over my time again and freedom to explore what it is that i actually want to do with my life and like what is my purpose and obviously i don't need to have any of this figured out right now i just felt like while i was at this job it was giving me no space to explore anything that i actually wanted to do 
the ultimate question is how do i want to choose to be stressed because no matter what you do in life you will have to be stressed about something but ultimately we get to choose what we stress about for me the question is do i want to stress about not having money or do i want to stress about having a job that i fucking hate i don't have the answer I just don't know what I'm willing to stress over right now. I've always told myself I will never do a job that I hate, but here I am. I, okay, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. When I'm there all the time, it really puts me in like existential crisis mode. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? I feel like it's just so purposeless. Like I, I'm not doing anything that's meaningful or fulfilling. Like, is that worth it for me? Because not having a secure job the last three weeks, I haven't been able to do as many of the things that I enjoy doing because it costs money. <laughs> I'm reading the creative act right now and something that has really stuck out to me is Rick Rubin says, actually, no, he didn't say this in the book. I watched an interview and he said this, he said, get a job so your art can be free. I've been thinking about this quote every single day, but I also kind of feel like it's more complicated than that. Like when I get home from my job, I am so drained. I literally have no energy to do anything or speak to anybody, let alone create. But I've also been thinking about that and I'm like, am I a fake artist for that? I kind of feel like I'm like rediscovering who I am or reinventing who I am or who I want to be. When I was 21, I went through a period of self-discovery and was really able to identify who I was and what was important to me and was confident in that. But I don't feel like that anymore. The things that were important to me then aren't exactly relevant or important to me now. I've been struggling to portray myself in a way that feels right to me. I don't know who I am right now and I don't know what to do about it. I also almost feel like I'm like too self-aware. I need to like not be so self-aware sometimes. Would it be so bad if I just pulled up to the comedy show wearing this? Because I just don't feel like putting together a cute outfit right now. Like at least I have makeup on. favorite thing to do right now is wear two watches or one watch on each wrist. It's an interesting touch. I've seen this coffee place all over social media. It has been my objective today to try this. I got the cream top. What I really wanted was the iced bread macchiato, which is what I saw on somebody's Instagram story, but apparently they have a Beverly Hills location, which I did not know. This one is the one in downtown LA, which I fucking hate coming to downtown LA. It's so stressful. Also going to anywhere really popular in Los Angeles gives me so much anxiety. Like I am sweating right now because going in there, there were so many fucking people.
This comedy show was actually so funny. So much better than the comedy show that I saw in New York. Like, I was crying. Like, literally, look at my eyeliner. Crying. I have to touch her up. Because we're going out now. It was literally in the back of Aviator Nation in Abikini. We walked in and I was like, what are we doing here? And then we had to stand the whole time because it was fucking packed, but I was dying, literally crying and sweating, <laughs> honestly. Um, but so worth it. Listen, I know my break was really lame, but I caught up. I'm freaking out. Oh my god, I totally forgot that I need to socialize because of this comedy show. I don't want to. I'm having a panic attack. My social anxiety has been so bad lately. Stepping out into the world just gives me anxiety.